weekend and early next week. We've kind of already been in a sort of rainy pattern, but I think our rain chance goes up and the potential for a few heavy downpours. We're expecting those scattered storms mainly midday to early afternoon or early evening, I should say, and we are looking for maybe two to three or so inches of rain through the weekend. Might have a stray severe storm or two, but really the bigger concern I think would just be a couple of heavy downpours in the afternoons that might lead to some street flooding. Here's your weekend forecast, so get, getting outside for plans, we're going to have to dodge a few downpours, especially in the middle of the day there through the early evening. And we do have rain out there already a lot north of the lake, actually a pretty big area where a few cells have combined to form these showers and storms right around Bogalusa and south to Picayune. So some fairly heavy rain, but as I mentioned, this is all moving and farther south. We have a few small showers as well. Actually, a couple of lightning strikes forming up with some of these coastal storms, and we are expecting more of that heading into this afternoon. So decent chance for rain really every day from here on out in the south seven day forecast. Temperatures right now otherwise are around 90 moving through our planner for 3 p.m. and then 5 and 6 p.m. Our rain as we get towards sunset will be diminishing. We lose daytime heating and that will be a pretty big pattern that diurnal pattern where it's mostly daytime rain shifting to some coastal showers overnight and then the rain forming up again. So tomorrow Thursday this is by noon few showers and storms. This is by 3 p.m. And here we go. Six and seven. We're almost quiet again. And now let's take a look at Friday. Friday we start off quiet, but a few coastal showers for sure possible. This takes us to Friday 1 p.m. So just a heads up, we might have some of that heavy rain middle of the day Friday, but I think for Friday night plans, things should be calming down and that could be the case into Saturday and Sunday too. So how much rain are we talking? This is just one model, so just not don't get too focused on exact numbers here, but this is all the way through the weekend models indicating about two to three inches. But as we've been saying, with so much moisture in the atmosphere, we could see a quick two to three inches with just one thunderstorm, perhaps, which might lead to the street flooding. Flooding rain outlook for today is to our north, but note tomorrow the North Shore will be included under a low risk for some flooding rain. And then on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, actually, our whole area is included at this point, just that lowest risk category for some heavy rain, but we'll be watching in case it gets ticked up a bit, especially if you've already had a downpour and then are looking for more. Now in the after uh, in the upper atmosphere, we're seeing that trough dip in between the two high pressure areas and look at this. Generally, the pattern doesn't really change much into early next week. This is Monday. The high pressures kind of separate a little bit. This takes us to the middle of the week and we might start to see this high off to our east start to build a little closer. So end of next week, our rain chance may be going down again, but until then pretty decent chance of rain, as I said, every day. And we've had about double the rain so far this July compared to last July. Remember when we had that huge high pressure set up over us and kept us so dry, so hot also kept hurricanes away from us, but we are looking at this point at least to have some rain to bring those temperatures down toward the weekend. We have made it to 90 though so far and the feels like temperatures in the triple digits. We officially have a heat advisory today, but of course if you get a shower or storm, it'll definitely help. Tomorrow looks very similar. Temperatures get cut back probably with more clouds and rain Friday and into the weekend. Alexandra.